I've done this for the last couple of STWWWs, so it's become a sort of a tradition if you like. I'm going to give you a, a guided tour of my steam toy collection. On this side of the room there's the, uh, the, the stationaries. On the top shelf here there's a, a row of Mamard SE2s uh, in their various stages of development. Um, the, the first one is uh, a 1948 with the, the early version, the flat base and the, uh, the cast engine frame. And then next along we have a 1953 version, still a flat base, but it has the, uh, the, the pressed engine frame. And then there's a 1954 version, which is the first of the raised bases uh, with a similar engine frame. Uh, and then last we have an S, actually an SE2A, uh, which is uh, very similar to the, uh, to the last SE2, but uh, the only difference being the reversible engine. Coming down onto the next shelf, we have the modern equivalent of the SC2, which is the SP4. Uh, this is a slightly unusual one in that it has a, a white base instead of the usual mammard red. Uh, and then we have a couple of Whedons. Uh, first there's a, a 903 and then a 14. And then on the end there we have a Mersey 52. On the next shelf we have a, a row of SELs. Uh, there's the minor, junior, standard and the major. The, uh, the junior there has a red base but uh, all the others are green and the standard has uh, a two-sided base whereas all the others have uh, four-sided so I have uh, all the various options there and then on the end there's the uh, SEL marine engine uh, this is alongside uh, on a few other very small engines uh, in the middle there is a very nice Kevin Peak Miner and then we have Philcraft engines uh, there's the beautiful marine engine at the back there and then at the front there's the Jenny Wren and the Lilliput uh, on the end there is uh, as yet unrestored uh, just recently bought Burnack on this shelf starting at the right hand side there we have a Bing vertical um, next to that is a Luton Bowman PW201 there's uh, Willesco D6 and D3 next to that is uh, a Latimer L4 uh, and a Bowman 175 a slightly unusual engine they're not, not very common and then at the end we have the Marvin uh, Robert Fulton vertical engine. Having moved the coffee table out of the way we can now get at this uh, next set of shelves. At the end there there is uh, Jensen 70 uh, next to the the infamous SE 3C uh, three cylinder modification of, of a SE 3. Uh, tucked in there is a little Opitec engine uh, which is built up from a kit and then here I'm going to have to step back a bit in order to see the Sussex Newcomen engine which I have never actually succeeded in getting to work properly. Next shelf down we have uh, an MM1 MMRD MM1 there alongside a little Stirling engine which I think is a Boeing, I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, and then further around we have a couple of Mamard marine engines. There's a ME1 and ME3. Uh, I'm still on the lookout for an ME2, very rare. Uh, the ME3 of course being the one with the uh, SEL 
engine. Uh, and next to that there's a Ramad Meccano engine, usually referred to as the MEC one. Uh, next to that is the Sildon, the uh, one with the semi-rotative uh, valve gear. Uh, I've forgotten what model number that is. And at the, uh, the end there's the Wells stationery. And then on the bottom shelf of this particular set of shelves there's the uh, Omen M101 on the end there. Still my favourite. Next to that is a Bowman twin cylinder M221. And then on the end is the, the other Sildon, uh, more conventional type. On this next set of shelves at the top there, uh, on the left, we have a rather nice, very large Bing engine there. Uh, and next to that is the Alga uh, John Ericsson engine, Swedish one. Next shelf down we have the two sectioned engines. This is uh, the Rilisco D16 with uh, just has the cylinder and valve gear sectioned and then next to that there's the sectioned Mamad ME SE3 uh, which has most things sectioned as a boiler and also the two cylinders are sectioned and then at the back there we have a complete Willesco D16 and then on the bottom shelf of this set there's uh, a complete Mamad SE3 next to that is uh, East German VEB D1.5 I think that's called <laughs> uh, very robust built uh, engine with a, a cast steel boiler by the looks of it I'm not quite sure about that and then there, on the end there there's the uh, Kleinemeyer engine house engine made by our own member Andreas on the other side of the room we have uh, all the various kinds of mobile engines or non-stationary ones uh, starting off here with a row of little pop-pop boats there's two Welbys there and a couple of Rattan Deeps and there's also another Rattan Deep rather impressive Titanic which is, uh, believe it or not, is a pop-up boat um, and then up here we have the Midwest Fantail this uh, set of shelves is the main block of road mobiles but starting off of course we have Jimbo and his friends there but uh, they are standing next to Mamad SA1 steam car next shelf up we have the Wells traction engine and Mamad T1 and SR1 it's the, uh, the earliest nut and bolt version of the SR1 next shelf up is the Mamad SW1 that's the one that I converted for radio control and that's sitting next to my uh, steam dray which started life as an SW1 uh, top shelf is empty that will eventually house my current project which is the Stanley Sharabang which is uh, still very much work in progress I'm sure you've all seen that on the forum. And the last couple of shelves are the, uh, the Locos. Uh, the first one there is the Hornby 3.5 inch gauge Stevenson's rocket. And next to that is the Aveling and Porter lookalike, which I made from a 
Mamo Turkson engine, uh, but it also has uh, wheels from the rocket. And last but certainly not least, there's a couple of O-gauge engines. There's the Mamad SL6 there, which is the Golden Jubilee version. And next to that is the uh, Bowman 234.